Hey, God bless you, Rob Wood or Rob Wood Ministries. I want to do part two of a response where, you know, Ellen uh, did a show and also released it on YouTube entitled, Ellen Addresses Her J.C. Penny Critics and a Million Moms Rise Up and Create This Whole Debate and This Whole Faction and, you know, Cause All This Type of Division and Confusion. And if you, re if you, you know, listen to part one of the show I did, you know, the church generally at large has done an injustice to many communities at large all over the globe. And I want to come to you and ask for forgiveness as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and say, hey, we all need the forgiveness of God in our lives, my friends. Now, you may not even believe in God. You may not accept Christ into your heart. I'm just telling you, no one convinced me to be a Christian. No one talked me into it. No one can talk me out of it. And I felt an urgency and I felt compelled and God gave me a burden to come on here and do this because I do have some shows on YouTube and I want to talk about the love of God. But let me just tell you a story in the Bible about a woman who was bent over for 18 years she, maybe she went to many chiropractors, and a little joke back then, there wasn't chiropractors 2,000 years ago, but the point I'm trying to make is there were many people that probably came to her and says, why don't you straighten up? Why don't you straighten your life out? Jesus came on this scene and said, woman, be thou made straight. The Bible says immediately she straightened up. So the only one that could straighten my life out, the only one that can straighten anybody's life out, to me, is God and the Lord Jesus Christ now. In the book of John, the third chapter, the 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, that's me and you, friend, we're the world, that he gave his only son, that if you would, if you would believe in Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting life. We are all looking for acceptance, my friends. We're all looking for love. Sometimes we look for love in all the wrong places. We have all missed the mark. We've all failed God. We've all failed morally. We all have propensities, weaknesses, sin in our life. That's what grace is for. Grace is an enabling power where we can come to God because he gives us strength to serve him and have the victory. And then he also gives us the gift of repentance where it's like taking a shower where we can come before him and God literally can take an eraser to our life and just give us a whole clean slate, my friends. Uh, again, the Christian community, I believe, has done an injustice now. I want to read some scriptures out of the Bible. I'm not going to be exhaustive here. But in the book of John, <clears throat> the 15th chapter, 12 verse, Jesus said, This is my commandment. You love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. That's what Christ did. The ultimate sacrifice, my friends. Jesus was the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. If you want to get to the Father, you got to go through his Son. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Let me just say this. God loves you. Jesus loves you. He loves you so much that he showed it and he spread his hands out on that cross and hung on that cross for you, my friends. If you were the only one, he would have done it for you. The, you know, God, it's a free gift salvation. You cannot earn this. A gift is only a gift unless it's free. If someone gives you a gift and says, you got to give me $5 a week for five years, that's not a gift. You cannot earn salvation. You can't be good enough. That's why Christ died on the cross in your place. We're all born separated from God for original sin. We have all missed the mark, my friends. I love how Ellen loved the, ended the show because I believe she's searching, she's seeking. I'm, it sounds like a nice person to be on it, just a genuine, caring person. But she said she stands for honesty, equality, kindness, compassion, treating people the way you want to be treated, helping those in need. To, she said, to me, those are the values that I want to stand for. Those are the values God wants to stand for, my friend. There is too much hate out there. There's too much division. There's too much opinions. You know, opinions are like people's armpits. They start to stink after a while. There's too much of the pointing of the finger. Hey, when you point your finger at someone else, check it out. You got three or three or four of the fingers pointing at yourself. A lot of people got to keep their face in their own mirror and stop looking in everybody else's because the reality is, is we all have weeds in our own backyard. And we all, Why are we always trying to pull weeds out of everybody else's backyard when we have them in our own? So, you know, again, I wanted to come to you. My, my friends, Jesus is the friend of sinners. He was hanging out 
chilling with sinners one day, and the religious people came on the scene and said, well, he must be a sinner himself, which is ridiculous because Christ walked perfect on the earth. The reality is, is he was a friend of people that the religious people weren't friends with. The religious people gave Christ so much trouble. Another really kicking video on YouTube, I'm sure you heard about it, Why I Hate Religion But Love Jesus. But I want you to listen to a minister from Singapore named Joseph Prince. Go on YouTube and just punch in Joseph Prince. Guys are cranking preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He preaches the new covenant, the love of God, the mercy, the compassion of God. Again, my friends, Jesus came to a woman at the well and he said, you're drinking from the wrong water. The water you're drinking will never give quench the thirst you're looking for. You're looking for acceptance, my friends, maybe in all the wrong places. But God came when I was a young man and saved me out of rock bands, heavy metal bands. I'm not saying that style of music's bad. I'm just saying the message wasn't pleasing to the Lord. I knew it wasn't. And he threw me a lifeline like Regis. He threw me a life preserver. I was drowning. I was depressed. I was oppressed. I was getting involved with drugs. I was in bad relationships. And I was looking for acceptance. I was looking to fit in. I had a hole in my heart. And God came and rescued me with his mercy and his love. Father, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I believe there's a revival and awakening <clears throat> coming to young people, youth, young adults, I pray for Ellen. I ask you to touch her heart. I hope she's not hurt by all this criticism. I hope she's not wounded. And Father, if she is, heal her, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And God bless your friends in Jesus' name. Many other videos on YouTube. The search Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one. God bless you, my friends, in Jesus' mighty name.